Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my Let's Play of Call of Duty Part 3. Okay, so let's just get right back into it. Hopefully resume game actually does what it's supposed to do. Let's see. Wait a second. I've already read this. Um, I don't have to do this part over again, do I? Wait, where am I? God damn it, why does it always do this? Do I always just pick the worst parts to do over? The worst parts to stop episodes on. Well, I'm pretty sure that these levels reset all of my guns, like between each mission. So I don't care about wasting ammo anymore. Although I should probably be a teeny bit more careful. They wrote in the old days that it is sweet and fitting to die for one's country, but in modern war there is nothing sweet nor fitting in your dying. You will die like a dog for no good reason. Hmm. Yeah, I know a couple of soldiers are gonna show up right there. Yes, slow and stealthy like snail. Oh shit, where'd you guys come from? God damn it. Oh well. Really? Okay, finally beat that mission again. You know the real meaning of peace only if you have been through the war. Okay, so I guess I should wait until I see the sign that says it's loading or saving before I quit. First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Mariglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Braycor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. So it is Saint. Why is there an E at the end of the abbreviation? Oh, whatever. August 7th, 1944. The Bavarian Alps, Germany. It seems that a couple of British officers, a Captain Price, that's this guy, and a Major Ingram were shot down somewhere over enemy territory. I don't know who these guys are, but they must be pretty important or know something pretty important because Army Intelligence has decided to parachute us into Austria to rescue them. Intelligence sources say the two officers are being held in a chateau in the Bavarian Alps. We've stolen a German truck, hidden it nearby, and are approaching the chateau on foot. 1.30 a.m. There's an MG42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move! So you guys follow me? Awesome. I guess I don't have to crouch if no one else is. Oh. I see you. There you go. Stay down. Ah, and there's our first swastika of the game. If it wasn't apparent who we were fighting before, it is now. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I saw that. Can I shoot through this? Yes, I can. Excellent. Oh, what's in there? 
Yeah, 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 don't rush me. Okay, I keep thinking that there have to be secrets in these, but I should know by now that there aren't. Unless there just aren't any in the first few levels. You guys even hitting them? Come on. Uh oh, here we go. Come on, come out of hiding. I see you. No, no, don't go, go, go. I see a guy. There. Okay, I think the Germans are wearing gray. Because they just look... Everyone's outfits are so washed out, they all just look like the same color. Shouldn't this have water in it? Oh well. <sighs> okay. Champagne? Reims, France. Reims, France? Hmm. How do I get in? Maybe there's an open window? No, I can't climb through windows, I forgot. I probably just once when I go around the back. Oh, no, you don't. Heard them coming up from behind. What were you doing? Waving at us? Like, hi, come kill me. I'm tired of this job. Seriously? Let me just reload real quick. Okay. Being on that side isn't a good idea. Oh, so I can't break windshields with bullets? Keith. Uh. Okay, why are these guys so fast? How do you hit me twice? I can't hit people that fast. This is as fast as I can do it. Can I take the motorcycle? I want to take the motorcycle. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Covering fire! I really should look both ways before crossing the street. Martin, get in there, grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody and I will find Price and Ingram. Uh, more document collecting, huh? Hey, come out. No, you're not dead. Or maybe you are. Okay. See you. Come out. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Let me switch to my pistol. For now. I'm gonna be running up into soldiers' faces. No, no, you can't fool me. Putting health across the hall like that. Yet. Okay. 
see you. <laughs> Jeez. That takes care of them. When will I learn? Shot him in the dick. Shot him in the dick. Shot him in the dick. Died from dick loss. Did your gun land on the table? Okay. No, I guess this is it. Okay, now what? Find the secret communications room. What is one of the doors I passed up just gonna be open now? Probably have enemies coming out of it too. Ah, I th saw that coming. For some reason I couldn't aim though. Ah, okay. That I didn't see coming. Come on. Yeah, over the balcony you go. That wasn't forced or anything. I don't think I have to worry about ammo conservation at all in this game. God. I wonder if it's just an easy mode thing, or a greenhorn mode thing. See, if this were me, I would have hid a Nazi inside that suit of armor. <laughs> Why did you pass him up? You ran right by him. Oh, wait, you're an enemy. Again, I can't visually tell the difference between friend and foe. I just have to shoot everybody, or wait until they shoot me. God damn it. Oh, a lot of soldiers in this room. I wonder if it, do they all carry the same weapons? MP44, MP44, MP40. Hmm. Oh, there's nothing up here. Wish I knew what they were saying. Subtitles would be nice. I saw you, I saw you, but I had no way of getting away from you at that moment. Yeah, all these guys just carry machine guns. Not fast enough. Alright. 
I thought you were an ally. The really... Where'd you guys come from? Where the hell are my allies? I didn't even hear you throw a grenade. I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Hmm. Yeah, no, I saw that. You know, reload. Oh, this is a very stressful game. Wait. Ah. I thought that looked suspicious. Yep, this must be it. Uh, examine? It's glowing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, full health again. And still got tons of ammo. Okay, Good so. Good job! Alright, guys, we're moving on! I guess I'll go this way. Wait, these barrels are explosive. No, no, this is a wine cellar. Okay. Fucking grenades always... <sighs> At least they somehow don't instantly kill me. Or dismember me. behind these doors stand back we're gonna blow them okay I'm uh, standing back why didn't the timer show up You know, it's a good thing I'm so good at using these med kits, like, the instant I touch them. Bryce? Well, goodness me, Americans. Uh, uh, yeah, why is your cell open? Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite alright. Uh, I can still walk. You look different than the reference Captain photo. Price, Captain Foley, where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry, I overheard where. I also didn't know you were British. Seriously, why do you look so different than in the reference photo? Because I didn't know who this character was, but I needed a character to draw for the thumbnail. So I asked my friend, who's played this game and the series before, who the best character to use for the thumbnail what would be, and he told me Captain Bryce and sent me a reference picture. But his beret is the wrong color, his... Uh, maybe the photo was from a later game? I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. Seriously? I was just about to say, hold on a second until my dogs are done barking. Hold on. There, I think they're done. Let's go. So, this isn't really much of an escort mission.
Have fun with the grenade. Did I even go? Oh, I almost shot you. But for some reason, it didn't work. Huh. When I hit the left mouse button, it didn't shoot. Weird. I guess you want me to go this way. Just one I saw one of my allies' names. Oh, over there. How did you get past the guards? Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Oh, I can go out this window. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. Really? We'll be back for him? You don't think that they're going to just kill him after we kidnap the other guy? Not not kidnapped, but rescued. There are only two forces in the world, the sword and the spirit. In the long run, the sword will always be conquered by the spirit. September 18th, 1944. Outside of Strassoff? 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 Austria. It seems the Germans moved Major Ingram of the British RAF before we could nab him from the chateau. Captain Price says he overheard the guards saying he had been moved to a camp near here. Price pinpointed the camp for us, but Captain Foley insisted that he stay behind during the actual rescue. Our plan is simple. We are busting right through the gate, grabbing the Major, and then hightailing it out of there. Foley says the only way we can pull this off is if we spend no more than ten minutes in the camp. Otherwise, the... Jerry's? Are going to have the entire area locked down looking for us. So this is a timed mission. Okay, Martin. We're about ready to ram the gate. With less than ten minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the major. Then rendezvous back at the truck. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if they'll show me a visible timer or not. Hey, I see you. Why don't you see me? Wait, they gave me a sniper rifle. I knew it! God damn! You gotta be kidding me. There's no way I can snipe you with you shooting me with the shot the fucking machine gun. <sighs> in war in in war the, 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 the uh, Okay, how am I how am I gonna do this? Um I suppose I should actually snipe the guy with the machine gun first. That'd probably help. In war, you win or lose, live or die, and the difference is just an eyelash. Take out the front guards, concentrate. Much better. Let's not worry about the guys, let's just break through. Surprise those barrels didn't explode. Health? Hi health. Hey, come on, pick it up. Oh wait, you guys I can actually shoot you? 
Why doesn't it let me shoot you? Jeez. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, wait. This isn't good. Oh, that way. Okay. Can I move any faster, please? I feel like the Terminator. yourself out? Well, fine. Let's just get out of here, then. Tell those guys weren't going to move unless I took out that guy in the watchtower. So I had to take him out myself. that I can kill them just by sniping them in the arm. I think it's because the sniper rifle just does a lot of damage. Can we take the car? You know, it'd be pretty smart if we took the car. Okay, I'm about to die. Did I pick up any more machine gun ammo? You have a machine gun. Gimme. Ah, uh, fine. Oh, you're Major Ingram. Okay. Okay. I still have half of my time remaining. I can take my time. Now, I might as well use their weapons, just so I'm guaranteed to have ammo for it. Yeah, just swerve left and right, and they can't hit me. Okay, almost out of here. Hmm? Oh, uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure what I what I did just there. How did the mission end? No. Nah. Better to fight for something than live for nothing. General George S. Patton. Okay. Okay, that was weird. That was a weird sound. Okay. Gentlemen, 
Thus far, you've been training hard at Exeter for a special purpose. This special purpose, obviously, has something to do with the capturing of bridges. What I'm about to explain is top secret material. If any of you blokes mention the word bridge outside of this room and I hear of it, and I will, you'll be RTU'd on the spot. The invasion of Europe will take place across five main beaches along the Normandy coast of France. Elements of the British Second Army will strike at gold and sword beaches, along with the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division at Juneau. To the west, the Yanks will take Utah and Omaha Beach. Now, the entire eastern flank of the invasion will be exposed to a German counterattack from the Calais region. Should the Germans break through, they could very well have tanks rolling through Sword Beach and all the way down to Utah, wiping out the entire beachhead. Our task, along with the rest of the 6th Airborne Division, is to secure that flank at all costs by capturing and holding key bridges along the axis of approach. D Company's objective is this bridge over the Khan Canal. Under cover of darkness, the gliders will put us down in the field next to the bridge. From there, we rush the pillbox and prevent the Germans from blowing the bridge. At least one Bren gun will provide a base of fire while we flank it from both sides. Once we've captured the bridge, we hold it until relieved, which could take several hours. During that time, we may find ourselves using the Germans' own weapons against them. So I suggest you familiarize yourselves with the captured ones we have on base. Good luck. Godspeed. Dismissed. Is that Captain Bryce? I assume so. Top secret. Objective. Your task is to seize intact the bridge over the canal at Benoville and to hold it until relieved by seven para bin. Most likely several hours. Enemy. Static defense and area of operations. Garrison of the bridge at Benoville consists of about 50 men armed with at least four to six light machine guns and possibly assorted anti-tank weapons. That should be fine. Oh wow. Okay. So you guys are the enemy, right? I don't see your names. Can I shoot you? Somebody made a mess. All right, everyone, brace for Monty. Stream. The fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Everyone all right. Mills. Yeah, he's fine. Just scratch. But no, let's go. Let's go. Move, move. Come on. Sergeant Evans, glad you're still with us. We're in luck. The Germans haven't responded to our stellar landing. Find a good spot to suppress their bunker. We'll advance behind your base of fire. What the fuck am I holding? So couldn't you have landed that plane a little bit better? Give your own fucking soldiers concussions. You're an ally. Your enemies. Okay, who should I shoot first? Okay. Let's try and get out get those guys out of the window. I oh, know, I see you. Get out of the window. 
Oh, come on. Stop getting in my way, people. Fine. I own you. God damn it. There's a show a lot of people in here. Okay, let me just uh, take this. Oh, everyone over here is already dead. Oh, well, fine, let me take this. It doesn't reach that far. God damn it. Who designed these things? that I was going to go ahead and do this. Mind. What's this? A sten? What the hell? Uh-oh. Bunch of healing items over here. In the hole. We'll just nah. No. Jump. Really? Fine. Okay, I know the tank is right over here. Nothing I can do about that. So is there no way for me to get over there? Uh, probably not. Yeah, no, that's probably an invisible wall there. Oh well. So, what do we do now? Hmm. Well, you can't shoot me from here. Hi. How's it going? Hmm. That wasn't gonna work. Sergeant, go back across. Get to that black gun and turn it on that tank. Find private Mills and take him with you. Get him to free up the bloody thing. I hate it when they do that. I hate it when they prevent me from progressing because I haven't heard my orders yet. Everyone in this game runs weird. Nope, I don't run weird. Don't worry, I'm trying to be a meat shield for you. Stop it. Oh, what? Come on, turn. Come on. I can't aim down the sights or anything. There we go. And where did all these soldiers come from? That doesn't make sense. Did they pop out of the tank?
Okay, so is that it? Did we win? I don't see an objective marker. Oh, yes, apparently I did. The characteristic of a genuine heroism is its persistency. All men have wandering impulses, fits and starts of generosity. But when you have resolved to be great, abide by yourself, and do not weakly try to reconcile yourself with the world, the heroic cannot be the common, nor the common the heroic. Objective. Your task is to seize intact the bridge. Oh wait. Uh, this isn't the same thing as before, but with notes added. Seven power taking longer than expected, still holding out. Maybe eight to twelve tanks? Several platoons expected to the west, no sign of them yet. State of alertness. I would say they're bloody well alerted by now. Captain Price noticed a strange thing this morning. They had the bridge wired, but no explosives were in the holders. Found them securely stowed by the pillbox. Light reinforcements came in from Canville 800. Captain, we salvaged the area. Apart from some medical supplies, all we found were a couple of rifles and several panzerfausts, which are woefully inaccurate. Thank God we still have that flak gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up. Incoming from where? Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just get to the flat gun, shall we? Come on. Use it. No, if I, I'm just gonna get in this trench. What the hell is going on? Is this a reference to saving Private Ryan? That was weird. That tank is still there? They didn't do anything with it? What are we shooting at? I don't see any soldiers. Hey, are you my marker? going on? What is my quest marker pointing to? And seriously, who are we shooting at? I don't see any... I have no idea what's going on. Defend the West Bank. Okay, so I guess we're just shooting soldiers as they show up. Even though I haven't seen any living soldiers yet. Oh, there was one. <sighs> oh, hello. Okay, so I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but, oh. Oh, I see you.
Oh, a lot of these guys. Falling back. I thought we were doing fine. Get back to the machine gun and cover us. by hitting my allies. Am I even killing them? Been surviving in five minutes. Okay. Evans, destroy that tank to the south. Tank. Enemy tank on the southeast road. Wait, are you talking to me? Wait, I thought I was. Oh wait, wait. Is Martin my first name? I, I don't know. Oh, that tank. Yeah, come on, let's get this thing turned around already. There. Tank, southwest, across the canal. South heavens, take it out. Southwest? That way? Okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Through the fog. Gotcha. Is there gonna be another tank? No? Destroy the incoming tank. Where? I hear a tank. Yes, I know, I do. I hear it, and the marker is pointing to it, but I don't see it. Oh, there you are. Quest marker knows where the tanks are before anyone else does. Oh, I didn't hit it. Come on. Are you serious? Hit it. There. I don't know why I wasn't hitting it. Alright, another incoming tank. All I gotta do is wait, though. That's all I can do. How does this thing have so much ammo anyway? Yes. I am watching. Okay, seriously, am I a different character now? Yeah, I'm watching for it.
Okay, the music changed. That one? Well, that was easy. <laughs> Bloom the smithereens. Right, another tank from that direction. are open. Can't shoot what I can't see. Oh, there you are. Okay, that takes care of that. Gentlemen, we have friendlies coming in from the west. Make sure of your targets. Watch your fire. Help the reinforcements clear the area of any remaining enemies. My target marker is still over there. Is there another tank coming? Okay, I should probably get off of this thing now. Find some healing items. Take cover. Time is gone. Are the reinforcements here? I believe that's the last of them. Excellent work, lads. Bloody well done. If you say so. <laughs> when you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. <laughs> okay, I actually have to stop the episode there. Uh but I know it's gonna... Oh, wait, can I just... I can't make a save state here, can I? All right, settle down. We've got new orders straight from SOE, as well as two new transfers from the sick Airborne to help us carry them out. They were highly recommended for this operation as a result of their actions on D-Day. Captain Price, Sergeant Evans, welcome to 3 Troop. Now, let's get down to business. These are the locations of the major hydroelectric dams in the Ruhr industrial region of Germany. Their main purpose is to provide electrical power to the factories and cities throughout the area. Last year, a clever fellow by the name of Dr. Barnes Wallace created an odd sort of bomb that was specially designed to breach these dams. Using these bombs, the dam busters from 617 Squadron successfully breached the Mona and Eder dams, causing extensive flooding and damage to the industrial heart of Germany. The bad news is the bastards have already repaired the damage done, and Bomber Command wants to have another crack at these targets. This is the Eder Dam. We're to make a night drop on this one. From the DZ, it's a day's tab through unpopulated areas around the dam's reservoir. Dropping in any closer is impossible, as the enemy flak is simply too concentrated around the dam itself. Our mission is to locate as many of these anti-air guns as possible, wipe them out so that the bombers can make their runs. This building, at the foot of the dam, houses the electrical generators. Our orders are to blow this structure in the event that the bombers fail to breach the dam. We set the explosives on a short timer, then get the hell out of there by truck to a nearby airfield and appropriate suitable air transport from the enemy. You all know what to do. Check and test your magazines, zero your sights, and review the maps and photographs carefully. We'll receive signals and embarkation details within the next two hours. Good luck. Okay, now can I save? I don't know if it's saving or not. 
Uh, hopefully it is, but I actually have to stop there. I've just hit the hour mark. Yeah, so... I'm about as bad at this game as I thought I would be. I'm not dying as often as I thought I would, but I am still dying a lot. I have no idea what's going on half of the time. Sometimes I just forget to just go to my mission marker, because it doesn't seem to make sense to go to it sometimes. Like, as long as I do what I'm going to be ordered to do, why do I have to be ordered to do it? Is it just for the story? I, I guess they, could, they probably could have made that make a bit more sense. Also, am I playing as a different character now? Am I a British person now because I'm not getting the diary entries anymore? I mean, I, I was told that there were three different campaigns in this game, where you play as people of three different nationalities, the third being Russian. But uh, I, I didn't think the transition would be so spontaneous. But whatever, I'm sure it'll make sense in the end. So anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video and a link in the description below alongside links to my social media. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Wow, do you really have He's trouble? He's really let slippery. Me, let me take control. Let me take control. I tried turning around let, and he just me, walked into him. Let, 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 let a master do this. Master, huh? Yep, I'm a master. Jump over the back. Jump over this bat. Jump over this bat. Jump over this guy. This guy. You're not jumping over them. No, no, but I'm, I'm acting like I'm jumping.